super excited about today's video because I am showing you guys a bunch of different ways to decorate Easter eggs for Easter. I am also going to be showing you guys how to actually blow out the yolks and whites from inside of the eggs. Um... So yeah, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first I will show you how to blow out the insides of the eggs. So you're going to want to have some eggs, obviously. I would use white eggs so that they're easier to decorate. And then you're just going to want a bowl to put all of the egg stuff inside of. Then you're also going to want to have an egg carton or anything that you can sit the eggs in nicely. And for the egg carton, you're going to take a paper towel. And if you have the half size ones, then you're just going to want to fold it in half. Then fold that in half again and fold that in half again. If you have the big ones, then you're just going to do an extra fold at the beginning. And then you're just going to place it in one of the holes of your egg carton like so. Once you are done getting all of your materials, you are going to want to take an egg and put the pointier side at the top and the more round side at the bottom, as you can see, and just shove it into where the paper towel is sitting. And then you're going to take some sort of pointy material, it can be a nail or just a sewing pin like I am using. And then you are going to carefully and slowly poke a hole right in the top of your egg. And then once you have poked a single hole, you're going to keep point poking little holes around that hole until you have a bigger opening on the top of the egg. Once you have made a little hole up on the top, you are going to take a toothpick or anything the size of a toothpick and stick it in the hole just to make sure that the hole is more smooth and open. Then once you are done, you're going to flip over the egg and put it back into the carton carefully without letting any of the insides of the egg slip out. Then you are going to do the same thing over again with the toothpick and the pin. You are going to take a skewer and make the hole even bigger and swish it around a little bit so that you can break the yolk inside of the egg so that it's easier to blow out the insides. Now to blow out the egg, there are many different ways to do this but I will be using a straw. You can also just put your lips right on the egg to blow it out but I find it much easier to blow into the straw rather than straight onto the egg. You can also use a syringe to try to get the th stuff outside of it. But if you are having troubles blowing out the egg, stick a skewer or toothpick back into it and swish around more because most likely the yolk is just not broken so it is trying to get out as one whole. Therefore, it is obviously going to make it way harder to blow out the insides of the egg. Once you are done blowing out all of the insides of the eggs, you are going to want to rinse it underwater just to get all of the egg off of the shell and then just gently dry it off. Alrighty, so now for the part of actually dyeing the eggs. You're gonna want a bowl that is deep enough to fit an egg in, and then you're gonna wanna fill it with hot water, and then you're just gonna wanna add about a tablespoon of regular white vinegar just to make sure that the egg dies nicely. And then you're going to choose your food coloring. First we are going to start off with the Minions from Despicable Me and the Evil Minion is purple so that is what I am making with red and blue food coloring. And then you're just going to want to mix the food coloring together to create your color. Once you have done that you are all set to go and can grab your eggs and a pair of tongs just to make it easier and you can take your egg in the tongs and put it in the dye. I would hold it there for about five minutes just to ensure that the dye stays onto the egg. And then you should have a nice purple egg and you can draw the binoculars and the frowny face onto your evil Despicable Me Minion egg. If you guys need to, you can obviously look up pictures of the Minion just to make sure yours is nice. It should look something along the lines of this. I am also not an artist, so mine is not perfect, but it's pretty easy. And then for the regular Minion, I'm pretty sure his name is Bob. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but whatever. 
So you're also going to take your hot water and some vinegar once again, same process for every single egg to die. And then you're going to take some yellow food coloring, obviously, because that is the color of the Minion, and put about five to 10 drops in there. And then after stirring it, you are obviously once again going to put your egg into the dye and hold it there for about five minutes. Once you take the egg out, you should have a nice bright yellow egg. And now on the bottom part of your egg, so the more round part, you are going to make some dark blue dye. So repeat the process one more time, but this time you're going to add blue food coloring. And I would add probably five to 10 drops to make it more of a dark blue because this is gonna be the sort of like overalls that he is wearing. And then once you take your egg out of the dye, it should be half and half blue and yellow. And then you're going to take a black Sharpie once again and draw the goggles and the smile on this minion. Remember that this minion does only have one goggle and you are also going to add some hair on top. Then once you're done, you can add all the details such as the teeth and inside of the goggles on the minions and also some hair on the evil guy with a cotton ball. And that's it for those. This next egg is super fun and crazy looking and super easy at the exact same time. You're just gonna wanna take as many colors of food coloring as you have. So I'm just gonna be taking my red, yellow, green, and blue food colorings. Then you are going to also need a straw. Then carefully by just putting little bits of food coloring down. You can suck it up with the straw and splatter it onto your egg to create a splattering effect. I used blue, green, and purple to do so. And in the end, it looks so cool. And yeah, that's the finished product. Now this next egg design is so creative and definitely one of my favorites. So you're just gonna take an elastic or different kinds of elastics and you're just gonna wanna play around with how you want it on your egg, um, whether you want it wrapped sideways or vertically, however you would like. And then once you've decided how you want yours, I'm just using three, then you're going to choose your color of food coloring that you want. Um, I just did my dye blue. And then you're going to, once again, put your egg into the dye for about five minutes. And then when you take your egg out of the dye, you are going to remove the elastic bands from the egg, and you should have this awesome stripey effect on your egg. It is so easy to do and so cool. Now this next design is sort of just a general thing. You can take Mod Podge or any type of glue and some glitter and do many different things with the eggs by dyeing them a certain color and then doing polka dots like I did here with any color of glitter. Or you can also do what I did, which is the sort of tumblery type thing where you do half glitter and half any color of your choice and it just looks so cute. Now, this is sort of an obvious thing, but you can also take any color of Sharpie or markers and literally just do whatever you want and doodle on the egg. Now, this last design is so pretty, so you can take any type of sticker shape. Um, probably using an Easter bunny would be cool, but I'm just using a heart and a circle to show you guys. So you're going to take your sticker, put it on the egg, and then choose some colors of markers and do sort of an ombre design with dots around the sticker. So along the edges of the sticker should be more darker and bold than the ones going outwards away from the sticker. And you're just going to do this in a dotted motion. And then my favorite part is peeling off the sticker because this is how amazing it looks and I love it. Now, I also did it with a circle sticker and I thought this one looked super cool. So I did the exact same dotted motion around the circular sticker, but this time I used yellow, green, and a magenta color 
to make it more like rainbowy ombre I guess and it just looked so cool when I pulled off the sticker and that's it thank you guys so much for watching my video if you try any of these egg designs um, let me know in the comments down below how they worked for you and yeah see you guys next time bye